Hey everyone, welcome back to our Support the Village videos. Uh, during this time of staying at home, uh, it may be easy to get into a routine, but we want to make sure that everybody is staying happy and healthy and making sure that they are taking care of themselves. So today I am here with Kelly, the owner of Paulina's Aesthetic Boutique on Harwood Avenue in the Wauwatosa Village. Hi, Kelly. Hi. And today she is going to show us how to do a facial at home. All right, well to start, one of the easiest things to do, and you can do it anytime, anywhere, which right now is at home. Um, I like to do it when I'm cleaning, which is a lot right now. Uh, we have this great product, it's from Patchology, and they are flash masks, so they are five minutes. You can leave it on longer, but it's nice to know that in five minutes, you're gonna do a little something for your skin. One of the biggest questions we get is about exfoliation at home. Uh, I prefer not using a physical exfoliant because you can be too aggressive or it can be too harsh for your skin. So this one is the Milk Peel from Patchology. It's one of my favorites. It uses lactic acid in a very small percentage. So it just kind of works, I would say like Pac-Man, just kind of dissolves that top layer of dead skin cells that needs to slough off. So this is, this is the real deal here. I'm going to put it on and show you. So it's always fun to try to open it up and get it ready to put on your face. So you can see the actual struggle is real. I am a professional and I still take a few minutes to do this. Here we go. So it doesn't need to be perfect. It's not one of those Instagram perfect shots. It's one of those funny Instagram shots. I like to do this with my daughters at home. They hate when I take the picture. So start on the forehead and place it. And I'm doing this without a mirror. So if I can do this without a mirror, you can do it at home. So it's really nice because it does, it suctions right onto the face. So this is when you take the Instagram funny picture because it's the, I think they call it the glow up. So this is really nice. You leave it on for five minutes. You don't feel anything. There's no burning, there's no tingling. And it's really nice because it is dissolving those, those top layer of skin cells that need to come off. They need to be reminded that they come off so that new cells can be made. And that keeps your skin fresh and it keeps it glowing, which right now, we need a silver lining and that can be some glowing skin. So you wanna leave it on for five minutes. Now, if you're doing it while you're watching a show or actually relaxing, I kind of like to kind of rub it in a little bit, especially with the milk peel, because it's just, it's a little bit of a physical manipulation, which just kind of helps to move the lactic acid around and kind of get a little bit of a deeper penetration with it. So leave it on for at least five minutes. You can leave it on longer. I've left it on for 20, 30 minutes because it feels nice. And especially, I know I've kind of fallen off the way in of taking care of it. So you can leave it on a little bit longer. When it's done, you can just take it off, which is much easier. You don't need to make it pretty and leave on what that mask was putting on your skin. So then you can kind of just rub it in. What I like to do with this one is I know I get more buildup in my T-zone area. So once I take that mask off, I use my fingers, just my, my two, my pointer and my tall man. And I like to do a little bit of circular manipulation, especially like I said, in my T-zone area. My chin, right now stress and hormones are gonna wreak havoc. So you're gonna get more issues within the oral area. So kind of make sure you rub that in really, really nice. Now, if you wanna be fancy, you can use a stone or a roller, which you can get on Amazon right now and deliver to your door, and you can do a little lymphatic drainage with it. I like to do that around my eyes, so I'm going to use the stone. So I'm just gonna use it, and I'm going to start at my nose, and I'm gonna come out to my temple and down. And I'm gonna do that, kind of expanding out over my cheekbone and down, going down my nose, out, and down. And then you can do it on the other side as well. This is when you learn how to be ambidextrous. And you do that. Now you can do it more than once. It feels really, really nice, especially when the stone is cold. It also will kind of help to move any sort of pooling or baggage just under your eyes. Gets more circulation, gets you more of a brighter eye. So you're doing an eye treatment and an exfoliation all at once. You can also do it over your brow. You want to move it up and down and on the other side as well. So it's something you can do very quickly, very easily. You don't need a stone, you can use your fingers just the same. 
doing the same thing here. You can also do this in the morning with your eye cream or your moisturizer. Doing it daily just helps getting that moving. We are selling all the flash masks that we have. Um, if you buy three, you will get one free as well. And if you buy five, we will send you a little um, five milliliter bottle of our blemishless Paulina CBD inflection oil because that's going to help to kill bacteria, reduce inflammation, and hopefully keep you from picking, which makes things worse. And I know when it's stressful and you're stuck at home, you look in the mirror and you do things you wouldn't normally do. So these are ways to help keeping your skin glowing and healthy and hopefully helping you feel a little bit better. Great, quick question. Before you put on the mask, what should somebody do to prep their skin? You just want clean, dry skin. So even just rinsing with water is fine. I recommend not cleansing more than you need to. So if you're gonna put a mask on and it's in the evening and you haven't put makeup on, just rinse with some water, pat dry with a towel. You can even just use a toner and tone your skin, let it air dry, and then put the mask on after that. Sounds good. Thank you so much for those tips. Um, considering the salon is closed right now, can you share with us how we can con continue to support the business? Yes, absolutely. Right now we are doing gift cards. We do have Venmo. You can find us at Paulina Aesthetics Boutique. Um, you just it's private, so you can set who you want it sent to. If you want us to mail it to you or to the recipient, just put that into your Venmo message, and we can take care of that. We're also doing a GoFundMe um, campaign right now. My team are fantastic women, and right now it's very difficult. And there are other options, but right now to have a little bit of something that I can give to them has been really great. We've had a lot of people help and donate already to that campaign, and that has helped make sure that my team has had a little bit of income coming in. Sounds good. Well, thank you for those tips. Absolutely.